So this is a 30 by 60. I have another video about a 30 by 40 and they're basically the same thing. Now we start like any other job. We lay the tarp so we can keep the tent clean. Now this tent came back yesterday from my friend who cleaned it. So the tent is all soaked. And when it gets washed in a big washing machine, it kind of gets all twisted up and everything. So we have to dump it out and then kind of like find the corners, find the ends and get it spread out. So while we're doing that, another crew is uh, setting up the rest of the tarps while we're getting started. This tent was filthy and it came back looking brand new from the from my friend's washing machine. I do have six people with me today just because we have a lot to do today and six people we just get things done so fast. Faster than sending two crews uh, out. It just goes way faster when there's six people doing everything and we get done actually earlier than we would if we were went all individual ways sometimes. And But if things are like really far away then I send two crews out. So we're having a pretty difficult time trying to get this spread out because uh, it got really twisted up in the washer. But uh, we eventually get it and then we can start doing everything else we need to. Now, the music that you're hearing below is made by myself and my two friends, Gabe Ciotti and Elliot Ciotti. So now that we actually got the tent stretched out and straightened, we can start laying stakes out. So we got people going around laying stakes, laying side poles, getting the center poles ready. And then we got people hammering in the stakes a little bit of the way so that we can then jackhammer them in. And me in the far corner, I'm dropping the ratchets when you wash a tent you got to take off all the ratchets and you got to zip tie the the center pole ropes to the inside of the tent uh, so we're laying out the ratchets so that we can then connect them to the tent on 30 wide tents are 30 by 60 and 30 by 40 the long piece of the ratchet is always attached and we just take the actual ratchet part and put it in a bag that way uh, we don't have to remember as much and we find that it takes less time so right now we've got some someone just going around jackhammering all the stakes down that have been prepped for him you got to hammer them in, in a little bit so that when the jackhammer gets on it the jackhammer doesn't like wiggle all over the place the stake needs to be kind of hard in the ground and then once all the stakes are in we start putting up the corners one corner at a time so you pick your first corner then you go to the 30 wide end and put it put in an, the other corner then you go to the 60 wide end, put it in another corner, and then you put in your last corner. And you see how we do it right here. It's usually three guys, one guy in the pole and one guy on each ratchet. Everyone pushes and pulls up, and then you just ratchet semi-tight. Now, because we're using wood poles, we actually ratchet not entirely tight, just a little bit, each pole to, to either corner, each pole to either side of the corner so that when we're putting the center poles it doesn't crack the wood pole it's happened sometimes you can avoid this by either using a metal pole for the corners or using a larger wooden side pole for the corners but uh, we don't want to remember to bring a metal one or a larger ones we just want to do all the same we don't forget anything so that's why we ratchet slightly each one to the uh, to either side of the corner and then the center pole is one person brings it in, kicks the tarps out of the way, puts it in the hole, and then we count down three, two, one. Uh, the two people pull it in while the center guy pushes it up and then pushes some of the tent as he goes. Now, uh, we had to pause here kind of because we had to cut the zip ties, the center ropes up, down because they were zip tied up for the washing. So while we're doing that, we have a little bit of space from the tent so people start doing things instead of standing around. They're starting to bring in tables while we're cutting the center pole zip tie. Like I said, it needs to be zip tied, otherwise it'll get all tangled in the tent. So you roll it up and zip tie it. Then we just continue on putting the center poles in, moving the tarps out of the way. Uh, the first one goes in at an angle, second one goes in at an angle, and then the third one goes in at an angle as well. And then you just come back to the first one, pull it up straight, second one, pull it up straight and then the third one pull it up straight then you check your alignment you look down the center of the tent to make sure they're straight and then you walk to the side of each one to make sure they're straight that way and then once it's up 
you just start tightening the side ratchets. You don't tighten them all the way at once because it's going to take adjusting. So you tighten them to the point where it's pretty good, you move on, then you move on, and then you tighten the corners that's all the way, and then you go through and fine tune the rest until you have a nice straight tent. Using ratchets on any size tent makes it so much tighter and so much straighter than just using ropes. If you use ropes, you're always gonna have a little bit of sag here or there, but if you use ratchets, it's always gonna be a nice, tight, straight tent that looks good. And the average person's not gonna be able to see it, but any tent person is gonna be able to see the difference between a tent with ratchets and a tent with ropes. I just feel ratchets keep the tent tighter. If something happens, they can tighten it up uh, really easily, the customer can. Now I'm just showing you us moving in stacks of 50 chairs with the two-handed cart. Uh, it can be done one person, but obviously it's way easier with uh, two. And then we're just finishing up bringing in the tables. This entire job was a 30 by 60, 35 eight foot tables, and 150 chairs. And then at the end of the job, everyone just goes around, picks up, and we're folding the tarps up and getting ready to go on to the next job. Our actual next job after this is another 30 by 60, which I didn't film. But uh, here it is, it's for a company picnic. All the ground was marked for us when we got there with flags, we stayed away from that. Uh, kept the stakes two feet away from anywhere there was a flag. And we've been doing this one for about five years now.